Thoroughfare Tower. This is Two Forks calling you for the oh, 50th time today. The Flapjack Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Uh, you can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry, we have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's talk. Okay? Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Hmm. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Welcome back, Fire Watchers, to some more Fire Watch. In this episode, it looks like we're going to be going to Cottonwood Creek. So I hope you're excited. Let's go, I guess. Look at that fire. Look how smoky it's gotten out here. It's pretty crazy. Sorry about that. Someone was knocking at my door. I'll edit that out. So we need to go to Cottonwood Creek. Let's get out of here. I believe it's going to be to the south. Can look at the map real quick, though. Oh, you know what I just realized? If you take a look at the dark green, those are impassable boundaries. Okay, so that's going to make navigating a little bit easier. If I stay on the light brown, that means I can actually move through there. Okay. So let's keep going. Interesting. So maybe I'll finally get to meet the Lila face to face. That would be interesting. Because apparently our radio communications are completely tapped here, which is not good. And now, instead of heading to the camp, I think I need to go to the other side. Let's see. Yeah, I need to go to the west. So I need to go that way this time. Kind of hear some ruffling around me. Like somebody's watching me. Or maybe I'm just being paranoid. I don't know. I see a big creepy tree here though. In fact, let me like line it up with the sun. And take a nice picture. Okay. I swear I'm hearing stuff. Okay, I'm here, but I don't really see anyone or anything. Let me double check, though. Yeah, I'm in Cottonwood Creek. Maybe I need to go to that cache, 308. There. Let's try that. Okay. 
Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Uh, okay, found the cash box. Great, open it. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Looks like there is a new radio here, but first let me update my map. Now let's take a look at this. Three blind rats. Richard Sturgeon again, man. Who is this guy? Some novel about an FBI informant. Uh, I found what you left me. Good. Call me back with when you have it. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry, we have to get into that site. What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? <sighs> Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Alright, guys. I think we're finally gonna break in over there. It's gonna be pretty crazy. Kinda scared a little bit, not gonna lie. Let's see. It's pretty far away, so I need to... I need to go north, and then I'll probably take the canyon. Or I might go through the medicine wheel. I don't know. Either way, I need to head north and east. Or west, I mean. What is this? Okay, it was just a fence. Hey. Uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Oh, shit. My thoughts exactly. Our radios were tapped, and now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And... I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. I came back here because I forgot to read the journal that I've been reading throughout the episode, so I might as well. And look what we have here. It's her little turtle. Aww. Wow, he's like hovering through my thumb. Nice. Let me put him back. I guess let's take a little picture of him. Nice. 
Okay, so let me read this real quick and then we'll make our way over to Wapiti. July 16th, 1989. What difference does it make? What difference does a day make? Holy hell, I don't even know where to begin. It's late, past midnight, so I'm going to write down everything that happened today as fast as I can. I went down to the lake and found a clipboard and a walkie-talkie, and I don't know how to describe this. I don't know what to say other than someone is listening to Delilah and I. I know that sounds crazy, but someone is out here listening to us and attacked me. They're taking notes about our conversations. We think there might be some sort of study going on. Like maybe we were given these jobs not just to look for fires, but to be part of a behavioral study or something. I know all this sounds insane. It is insane. I don't know how to explain any of it. Delilah definitely heard someone on our walkie-talkies too. It wasn't just me. I'm rambling here. She heard someone too. I tried calling her a couple of times tonight, but we don't want to talk on these anymore. I don't know what we're going to do. Okay. Let's get out of here. I feel like I have more responsibilities now to find out what's going on now that I have to care for this little pet turtle here. I feel like I'm fighting for him, my little turtle. Right, so I need to go northwest. Let me quickly whip out my map and just make sure. Okay, we're doing well. We... Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going west. I really want to start getting some answers, man. So far, I've only gotten questions. No answers. Trying to run there as fast as I can. Whoa. Is that an elk? Uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. <sighs> Fuck. How about you don't do that again? This is crazy, man. I'm like, I'm paranoid. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to connect some dots here, but at the same time, I don't really know. There's Dave and Ron. There's that creepy Ned guy that everybody talks badly about. There's Brian Goodwin as well. And there's also the missing man. I'm kind of leaning towards the missing man because his picture kind of looked like the silhouette that I saw near the caves all the way back in episode one. So that's who I'm kind of leaning towards. Is this where I'm going? Hold on. Let me check. I need to go north. So no, I need to go like that way. Or it could be Delilah all along, which would be interesting, I suppose. What I really hope doesn't happen is that it turns out... Oh, it's a raccoon. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get a little picture of him. It's not a very good picture, but I don't want to scare it away by coming in too close. Um, there's a critter. Out here, a raccoon. I can't understand you. Because I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. I think he's eating a candy wrapper? Huh. Oh, caught him right as he was running away. Okay. Need to look at the map, make sure I'm going the right way. I'm kind of off the trail, headed towards a dead end. So let me head back south and try to get back on the trail. Okay. Uh, 
let's see. So now I just need to continue west and the north. So back towards where we were chasing down those teenage girls in the first video looking for the culprits of the fireworks. Right. Oh man, it was right here, right? It was like right here that we got whacked in the head after we found that walkie-talkie. It's bringing back some memories, man. Getting close, though. And of course the sun's going down. I have a feeling I'm going to get there and it's going to be nighttime. It's going to be terrifying. Am I going the right way? I'm going east. That doesn't seem right. I'm supposed to be going north. So I definitely took a wrong turn here. So I need to turn around. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, I can push north through here. Okay, I think now we're on the right trail. And... I don't know if I should go down there. Yeah, need to rappel down. Really need to memorize the map here. It's not too big. And it would definitely be beneficial to kind of know where I'm going without having to whip out the map every few seconds. Okay, let's go. Almost there. Here we are. Oh god. Here we go, guys. Don't have that many pictures left. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. Oh, my God. Ow! Oh, is that a bee? Ugh. I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, kind of. O okay, I'm I'm sorry. Wapiti Station personnel, if you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Huh. Alright, I'll keep this. I am a little bit paranoid here. This little bridge thing is kind of weird. All right. Big red rock here is kind of standing out. Doesn't seem to be anything though. This is stressful, man. My heart rate's going up. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. 
Gee, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower, and they can probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Huh. Oh. Looks like there's a little campsite thing here. This is bizarre. This is pretty weird. And there's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. It's like a grid, too. This is very I'm weird. Doing something with the soil out here, too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. Can't really interact with this in any way. Hmm. Let's go in here. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. I'm a little bit concerned about running out of pictures, but I'm trying to take pictures of all the important things. Well, there's nobody here. It's just tents and equipment, and yeah, that's it. Look everywhere. Maybe you can find something that will help us know what's going on. <sighs> I just wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. Oh, man. It's like an equipment paper, some sort of graph, just sort of uh, some readings from the atmosphere. Okay, nothing too important there. Got papers everywhere. Okay, shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my our people's movements the map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it there are lines that look like some of the paths i normally take are you positive it's you i'm not sure but i think so i don't know it looks like it's a path through the canyon here huh i don't really see the pattern there Frequent departure from Two Forks area. That could be me. Avoidance behaviors. Consult previous data. As a female. Could be Delilah. A reciprocated desire for copulation. Conflict with other males. Is that maybe that Dave guy? Or Ron? One of them? Disproportionate food intake. Huh, I feel like we're being studied, man. Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Oh, it could be the missing two. Maybe teens. the missing girls? Like, they're still out here and these people are following them? Maybe. It's possible, right? But then why haven't you seen them? I, I, I don't know. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. Huh, like us. Yeah, like us. I found their main monitoring desk. Oh my god, what do you see? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. The desk in here is a mess. 
I mean, it's, it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. Hmm. Uh, I'm kind of paranoid somebody's going to sneak in behind me as soon as I get out of here. All right, what is that thing? I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry? Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Okay, so it looks like this kind of points me in the right direction. Oh, the hell is that, dude? I swear I heard the fence. Looks like this is leading me towards the tent, though. I am... I just know I'm gonna get jumped any second now. Oh, my God. It's pointing me towards all this equipment. Oh, there you go. Oh, that is bizarre. They are not messing around, man. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, did, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus. Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah, uh, okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Delilah. What? Think about it. I am, and I think it's insane. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain, or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Yeah, maybe. My god, Delilah, no. No way. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Oh, I'm so fucking wound up! It's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. I am getting the hell out of here, dude. Before somebody comes back and sees me here. They definitely have some really good intel on both myself and Delilah. I don't know how they got all that information. Ugh. I am super paranoid right now, though. Right now, I just want to get back to the tower. Okay, let's get out of here. No! Oh! Oh! Whoa! Well, if they didn't know, oh, they definitely shit. know now. Um, there's a fire, there's too. There's smoke coming from the site. Yeah, I just climbed out of there, and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Wow. See you guys on the next episode.